Welcome again to All Things Gumball, where today we're going to talk to you about this vending machine right here. This vending machine is called a Vendesign. This vending machine is probably almost my favorite, but there is one fatal flaw that it has, and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. This machine is ready to be put out. It's got one selection of candy in there, and we need to put three more in there. So let's start opening it up. Now when you <clears throat> when you go to visit your machines, always put on gloves. And as I said in an earlier video, you may never touch the candy. You may never touch the candy, but the customers don't know that. And if they see you wearing gloves, they're going to be more appreciative. And they're going to feel like you have a candy, a clean candy that they would love to eat. Now if you buy one of these machines and you've never opened one before, the quickest way is to insert the key and spin it around until you hear a click. You hear that click? That click means it's unlocked. You can either do it that way or you can just sit here and turn the key, but then if you have more keys attached to it, it does end up scratching a circle in the lid. I'm going to set that aside for right now, and I'm going to <clears throat> pull out the canisters. They're very simple to remove, and I want to share something with you. When you pick up a canister, be very careful if they're very close together. Let me show you. If you push them up very close together like this, and you pick up one of the canisters, it can snag on the second canister. Do you see how that is? It'll snag like that. And I have dropped many, many, maybe not many, but five or six canisters full of candy. So when you pick them up, don't pick them up like that. Do you see how you can lose control of more than one canister? So when you pick these up off the table, slide them out first and then pick them up. Okay. Now this company is called Vendesign and I have been told that they do not manufacture these machines anymore but they are pretty well built. But the reason I like the machine is because if I want to switch out a candy, let's say that I want to put something a little less, a little less expensive inside this head, this canister, well I need to do, I need to find something to put the candy in. For an example I can use a bag or I can use an old um, jelly bean jar, like these are gourmet jelly beans from Sam's, and you basically just pour it in, let me show you real quick, okay, it's empty, you can pop it out, pop out this part, you can switch the amount that you give very easily, pop it back in, and it's that easy to switch out that easy to switch out your candies. Now, you don't even have to empty the machine. If you feel like, let's say for an example, you buy some candy and it's on sale and you want to give the customers a little extra bonus, put your hand under the canister, spin it around until the candy drops out in your hand, place that back on, on the top, and do not flip over your canister, but you can pop this out while you still have candy inside. You can switch out the amounts that you give easily enough and easily pop this back in place. And then when that's set in, you spin it around half a turn and then it's ready to go. So that's really the reason I love this Vendesign machine. If you have a 1-800 vending machine, which we have talked about in previous videos, as I have mentioned, you have to take a screwdriver and you have to get way down in the bottom and you have to take the whole thing apart. And the same with the U-turn machines, you have to unscrew the bottom and it's time consuming. And if you, the more machines you hit, the more machines you can have working for you and the more money you can make. <clears throat> the Venn design also comes with a tube that sits inside the leg. Let me pull that out. 
And on the bottom, there's a key. Or on the bottom, there's a lock. I have a key. And you unlock the bottom, and you can put the candy, or put the quarters in your pocket, or in a bag, or whatever, and pop this back in. The, the, benef the benefit of having a tube like this is uh, you can hire someone to work with you, and uh, it's less likely that they're going to steal from you. They can still find the keys on eBay. They're simple enough to find. A um, couple of things. When you place the tube back inside, you do not want to drop it because it will get wedged in there, and then it's really imp it's almost impossible to pull it back out. So just drop it gently. Um, uh, if uh, for some reason sometimes the coins they get jammed down in here where the lock is. Uh, and if that happens, what you do is you can unlock it, okay, and if this doesn't pop off, sometimes it will not pop off, you can either bang it on something very hard, like a brick, or a wall, or, or a, a, you know, the sidewalk, and if that doesn't do it, and if there's a lot of money in there, you can kind of shake it, and the weight of the coins will drop the, uh, will drop the bottom plate out. Sometimes the reason that it sticks, the bottom plate is, it just gets a little corroded from all the years that it's been working. You can add a little bit of, um, uh, what is it called? It's WD-40. Uh, w, W-40. It's WD-40. A little oil or something. What is that called? WD-40. WD-40. Okay. So like I said, when you place the tube back in the machine, be very gentle. Don't drop it. Don't drop it from a distance because it will get jammed in there. And there are a few things here you want to you want to look for. You want to make sure that these are tight right here, and you want to spin this around and make sure that they're not loose. You can see there's a little tiny screw there. You can just tighten that screw. Let me show you. You can just tighten that like this, and, that, and you want to make sure that those are tight. All four of those. And you want to make sure that they're not wobbly or loose. And then when you place the canister back inside, you want to make sure that it's going to go right inside that little connector, that connection. And the way you determine whether it's working is you can check on the back side and make sure the wheel is spinning. Okay? And once you have all four of these placed in the machine, you can check these three visually from the back side. And once you get the fourth one in, it's very easy to see, even if it has candy, pull it out a little bit and look inside and see if that wheel is spinning. So that's kind of a rough idea of the, uh, of the Venn Design machine. As I said, it's one of my favorites, and it is one of my favorites because it is easy to switch out the candies if you like. Um, one of the things that I don't like about it, let me give you a couple of things that I don't like about it. Um, do not put Mike and Ike's in these machines. Um, you can put the Mike and Ike's in the 1-800 vending machines or the U-turn machines, but these machines do not do well with Mike and Ike's. They do not do well with the hot tamales because what happens is when the little when the little wheel spins around, it cuts the candy in half and a little bit of the gooey part gets on the inside of this and then after it dries, it jams up the wheel and it will not spin around anymore. And then people will get frustrated and they'll break a part of your machine or they'll break the coin mechanism. Another thing that I really don't like about the machine is the coin mechanism breaks more often than any of the other coin mechanisms I've ever had in any other machine, okay? Um, what else can I talk to you about this one here? Um, another thing that I don't like about it is it's always sitting in the sun. No matter what way you turn, it's always sitting in the sun. But other than that, um, if you can make sure that you put this in a shady area, um, and if you don't have a shady area, bring in a three-headed machine and leave the back to the sunshine. Just leave this one in another location. So anyway, I hope that helps you with your vending business. My name again is Neil, and uh, if you do like these videos, give us a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe. We'll make sure that we give you as many videos as we can, and we're going to talk about this uh, information as much as we can so that you can build a business, uh, build a business that will help you to make money and help you have a living. Okay? So give us some feedback. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know if there's anything else you have questions about or would like more information about. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I guess that's it. I will see you later and uh, have a good evening or have a good lunch time or have a good morning. I don't know what time you're watching this video, but. Please hang up and try again. It's WD 40.